I like to do a little enhancement so that they're a unique piece of art. In spite of them being reproductions, they're limited to about five pieces. I love the color choices there, excellent. Intentional, I want to make people smile, invoke a little bit of joy. International Artist Day was established by Chris McClure and officially celebrated in White Rock for the second year in a row. I think we're gifted with having the presence of so many really good artists. So the focus is to try to bring the arts into part of being part of the economic development solution. I did a couple sketches for the city. The city plans on doing it every year after this. White Rock now has declared itself an arts community and they're talking about doing a lot more murals or doing a lot more big art events. Thank you so much for holding so still. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. And there is me right there. People I think need to see that the paintings don't fall off the brush. I've wiped areas off and I'm putting areas back on. <laughs> Many times you pass the same area and it always looks the same until the fog comes or the snow arrives. And snow and fog is a great editor. What would you add? for next year. More artists. One of the first murals in White Rock was painted in 1984, and since then, about a dozen more have popped up. Now there's talk of making a White Rock a mural city. I'm Leah Bolton with Joy TV News.